All right, welcome back again to Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. We have a bunch of news coming in from the developers today talking about some of the brand new information and most wanted additions into the game. We also have a brand new mod going in with the community that allows you to replay the story in operations mode. And yes, it actually 100% works and a lot of more information going around in the community and the developers as well. We're getting into everything right now. Hope you guys do enjoy this video and if you do, please consider dropping a like down below and remember to subscribe let's try to get this video to 300 likes that will be absolutely amazing otherwise let's go ahead and begin and uh, see exactly what's going on right now so the first thing i want to go over today is this article coming in from wargamer and it's about the new campaign ops mod that allows you to play the campaign in operations mode if you guys want to try this yourselves you can do your own research about it i won't be showing any mods on the channel but you can go ahead and research about this so it says we played the most wanted space marine 2 mod and it's live now we tested the new campaign ops mod which lets you replay space marine 2 campaign missions in operations mode with its creator okay if we do scroll down right here it kind of gives you a bit of a information, but this is where we want to be. Braithwaite, Wargamer, and completely unprepared PlayStation player all loaded into Mission 5 of the Space Marine 2 campaign with our operations characters. Everything worked. The mission accepted our characters just fine. Our custom PvE Space Marines all functioned in the mission perfectly. We were able to use our SM2 class abilities, zipping around the Vanguard grapple, and so on. So yeah, it actually does work. Hopefully, we don't actually need a mod for this in the future. Hopefully, they just put the campaign in operations mode, which would be pretty damn good right now there's like six operations missions so bringing in more campaign missions will definitely make the game a little bit more fresh you've already completed the campaign but replaying them would be a lot more useful than just six operation missions so someone did tweet out to the lead developer here saying i know it's a massive ask but when are the chances of seeing other playable races in multiplayer such as orcs or tyranids now obviously this is kind of an important thing here going forward because a lot of people in games like this do want to play as other races Oliver Hollis, the, uh, the director, did respond by saying, We've created an amazing foundation with this game. All the tech and gameplay mechanics are in place to move forward and all the kinds of stories. Only time will tell where we go with it, but this is a huge possibility. So that is actually kind of cool. Hopefully we do see, like, Orcs or Tyranid gameplay and uh, just play as different characters. I know we can probably see this in PvP as well. Two different races fighting alongside each other or against each other would be pretty cool just having different abilities and even in pve as well using two different characters would be kind of a fresh gameplay style let me down on the comments what you guys think about that and if you do want that addition into the game we might possibly be seeing that in the future dlcs this tweet and the developers actually did respond to it because it's kind of a huge controversy right now here is a list of the pros and cons in space marine 2 right now and this kind of is an agreeable moment with a lot of people in the community the pros are an excellent story most of all voice acting beautiful graphics great characters thousands sons a lot of good pros and then the cons were like the campaign is way too short needed more factions uh, like the tease the necrons pvp sucks lag in multiplayer which is pvp right now is getting a lot of backlash just isn't really the best pvp in games recently and overall they gave them a 9 out of 10 the lead developer again did respond by saying thank you so much for supporting the game thrilled that you love the story it was written by myself craig randy and also matty we will be supporting this game for a long time and i hope we'll address some of your criticisms now obviously they did respond by saying in later september they're going to be bringing out another update that's gonna address a lot of things in pvp and also pve like the lag the connectivity issues and overall buffs and nerfs are going to be coming now they're going to be supporting this game for years to come. So, what's going to happen in the future? We really don't know, but it's great to know that it's 100% confirmed that they are going to be supporting the game for a long time. More controversy coming in from possibly one of the most, I think personally, the most horrible um, article in ever when it comes to video game reviews anyway, is IGN. They said Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 doesn't have a lot going for it as its video game. But that's what makes it great it makes absolutely no sense this is the same company that gives the games like a three out of ten for basically not knowing how the game works anything that ever comes out of ign mouths i don't take at all 
<laughs> One of the respondents did say, so a campaign PvE cooperative operations, a PvP mode with three modes means it doesn't have a lot going for it, question mark, and the devs have fully planned out a roadmap that includes updates for the two multiplayer modes as well as a horde mode coming. Yeah, IGN really doesn't understand what they're talking about with a lot of things. A game will come out in about 24 hours, they don't understand how the melee works, so they give it a 6 out of 10. Um, how? Do these people actually play these video games or they just play it for an hour and then bring out reviews just because they make money off clicks and adverts? That is probably what I think. Let me down in the comments what you guys actually think about these articles that IGN and other companies for these reviews are just ridiculous. So talking about the later update that we're going to be getting in September, this Reddit post and there's many like it that talks about the multiplayer matchmaking is the worst part of the game. Everything else seems extremely well done. Now the developers, like I said in the previous video, did respond by saying there is going to be a later update coming out in September that's going to address everything. So I know a lot of people and you guys probably have the same problem right now with matchmaking and connectivity issues. Yeah, they do know about it and they will fix it very soon. I I don't understand how this glitch or bug even works, but this guy said a glitch that scared the shit out of me. So he's obviously in the armoring hall and he comes out of it and uh, he just turns around and look what that is. A Tyranid in the armoring hall and then what the hell is going on? Yeah, I don't. What? Uh, what? That's kind of a weird glitch. So it seems like this has happened to a lot more people. So something interesting just happened. Uh, for some reason, a lot of Terminus just spawned in the armoring hall or the ship or whatever. And they just start shooting this guy. Well, how is this even happening? Is these like cheaters or mods that are doing this? Because it's kind of weird for it just to spawn up here. Something is obviously going on. This cannot be a bug. Obviously, the controversy about playing different characters is still going on in the community. This Reddit post says, I love and adore this game, but please remove this. Class conflict, all members of the squad must be a different class. Now, obviously, I kind of have the same issue right now. In PvP, you can play two of the same characters, which is kind of fine. That's not really the biggest problem. But right now, in even in operations, I mean, I get it whatever the case may be with like law or whatever just remove that it's a video game the law doesn't really need to be a such a major point where you can't even play the same classes like right now i'm playing a bulwark and my friend is playing a heavy class and we want to play the different characters but if i want to play vanguard he cannot play vanguard he has to play a character like tactical or heavy and it's kind of annoying like we just want to play the same characters for example and we just aren't allowed to do that so definitely remove this option this is kind of annoying but anyway apart from that that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy let me down in the comments if you have any other issues right now that the community and the developers need to know about obviously you do have twitter you have reddit to you know bring up your issues and the developers do seem like they are replying to the community quite a lot i did check out some of the developers and some of the directors twitter pages recently and they do reply to pretty much like 90 percent of the problems going on Anyway, that's it for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all on the next one.